Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece. God Level Fishing System. Chapter 1. Naval Headquarters, Marin Fandor, it was not yet dawn. A young navy in a recruit's uniform is sitting on the shore, holding a delicate fishing rod carved in bright silver. The boy's original name was Deng Shu, but let's forget this name now. Now his name is Clive, and this is his 15th year crossing into the pirate world. Oh much, another big fish. Ding, catch a tosto herring, the experience of armed color is increased by 100, and it takes 900 experience until the next upgrade. Clive threw the fish back into the sea and said secretly. System, bring up the panel. Soon, a pale blue translucent screen that only Clive could see appeared in front of him. Host. Clive, LV1, 803 one thousandths. Skills. Rokushi shaving LV1, 231 thousandths. Rokushi fingergun LV1, 101 thousandths. Armed color domineering LV0, 101 thousandths. Items. One fairy bean, spiral pill skill book, available at host level 3. Weapon. Holy rod LV1, 408 one thousandths. Alas, Clive sighed, and then said to himself. Really, is it really far from it? Quote. Clive, who has read the original book, can't help sighing, this world is much more dangerous than what he saw in the anime. But fortunately, he is still early in this time period, and it is now 1493 of the Haiyuan calendar. He just happens to be a classmate of the same class of the three major generals in the future, Red Dog and Yellow Ape, and occasionally, maybe the three major generals will occupy a position in the future. This system is his golden finger, I don't know if it is the reason why he liked fishing in his previous life, and the system he obtained was also such a thing after he was killed by lightning for no reason when fishing on a rainy day. However, if you can only fish, then this system is still quite chicken, after all, fishing does not take too long. Luckily, it sent some newbie packs to Clive. It is the above skills, props, and the holy rod he is holding in his hand. As for why these skills have been with Clive for more than 10 years or are still level 1 or even 0, it is because their physical strength is not enough. If you can't cultivate or even use these skills, you naturally can't increase your experience points. These skill experience, currently I can only gain by fishing. No way, the character level that symbolizes their physical strength is not enough, and the experience gained cannot be assigned to skills. And I used to live in the East China Sea, where there are not many fish that can catch experience, and the king of the offshore is one kind. Let's not talk about whether to catch or not, it is still a question of who eats who is caught when fishing, and Clive has no idea of dying again. It is useless to fish, and what cannot be caught is not fished, and this situation has changed a little after he joined the navy in the past few days. I have to say that the fish on the great voyage is big, and thanks to the instructor's training for him in the past half a month, his strength has been sufficiently improved, and his own level has also increased exponentially due to systematic training. According to the current training intensity, it is estimated that it will not take long to learn the spiral pill. Putting aside the skill props, the most useful thing that Clive found most useful was the holy rod he was holding. If nothing else, it comes with its own combat mode. The property of never being damaged, so that its fishing line and rod can be used not only for fishing, but even for sea kings, as long as you have a lot of strength, you can pull it up without worrying about equipment. When switched to battle mode, the rod transforms into an indestructible silver sword, although it is not scabbarded. Clive hung up the bait again and threw it towards the surface, hoping that he would catch a good thing. Just like when I was five years old, under the leadership of my father in this world, I caught the first fish with a skill book of spiral pills. In the blink of an eye, ten years have passed, and he has never dropped anything decent again. Don't tell me that I gave out all the guarantees for this ten years. Just as he was thinking, a shout came from behind him. Yo, Clive, still fishing here. It's time to go, or instructor Hui Zeppa will start roll calling, a lazy voice sounded behind him. When Clive heard this voice, he also guessed who the person was, although the size difference was a lot, but Clive, who was only 1 meter 85, had a good relationship with him who was close to 3 meters. Borisalino, don't say this, won't you go back? Clive also replied with a lazy voice. The two got along because Borisalino discovered that Clive was of the same kind. To be clear, both of them are that kind of fools who will not easily show their strength. 
Similarly, the two never show enthusiasm for something. The same laziness and personality made the two almost become friends who talked about everything. Borisalino also learned the kung fu of hand fishing with Clive. Although the two are 11 years apart, the 26-year-old Borisalino chatted about the sky. But compared to Borisalino's carelessness in hiding the city, Clive is a real fool. If it weren't for the fact that he didn't improve his strength, he would be easily crushed to death in the future, and he wouldn't actively participate in training. Borisalino did Clive's side and said, Well, if you rush over with the shining fruit, how about it, do you want me to take you for a ride? Quote. Clive shook his head. I don't have the habit of letting a man hold it, and you don't seem to be able to bring people, right? Quote. E.H., but there is still a minute to start. Oh, this is not close to the training ground. Clive prodded, took a deep breath and said, forget it, take me quickly. It turns out that no one can violate Wang Jingzi's law. It's a pity, to add, if you want to move at high speed, I can't take people away, goodbye. After that, Borisalino turned into a particle of light and disappeared with a scowl on Clive's face. Clive silently collected the holy rod into the system space, and then galloped towards the training camp at a rapid pace. A roar with a bit of grief and indignation resounded on the road. Borisalino. Wait for Lao Tzu to learn to arm colors. I'm going to beat you to the ground. Quote. Clive ran into the training ground three seconds before class, and Borisalino greeted Clive when he saw Clive. Yo. When he saw Borisalino smiling with his lewd face, Clive directly took out a pair of his spare slippers in the system space and threw them directly towards Borisalino. Borisalino smiled wickedly, and then elementalized his body, and the slippers came out of his body and slapped directly on Zephyr's face standing behind him. Due to the height gap, Clive did not see Zephyr standing behind Borisalino, and saw that he smashed a slipper on the face of the instructor he met for the first time, and he couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat, but in an instant, the clothes on his back were through. Borisalino silently took a step back gave up his position, and completely displayed Clive's appearance in front of Zepha, and then held back a smile and retreated to the side, ready to watch the excitement. But to his surprise, Zepha did not break out on the spot, but said. It's worthy of being carefully selected to join the elite of the new barracks, this slippers are really strong, Zepha slowly took off the slippers, this, attack, did not leave any marks on his face, it can be said that the skin is very thick, oh no, the armed color is deep. Seeing that Zepha didn't mean to blame, Clive first breathed a sigh of relief, and then tentatively retreated to the side, but the next unfolding made him understand what it was to listen to the words. Since you are a good seedling, you have to step up training, what is your name? Clive said subconsciously, Clive. Okay Clive, go around the naval base three times. Start now. If you don't finish before lunch, you don't have to eat. Quote. Yes. Although Clive just ran all the way with a shave, he couldn't catch his breath, but fortunately he didn't die of exhaustion with Xi'an Do in him. It's a pity to use this kind of heavenly treasure here. After sighing, Clive ran off the training ground. It also made him lose the opportunity to watch the next good show. As for you, Borisalino, Zepha uttered his name almost through gritted teeth. If you were a civilian behind you and a bullet was shooting at you, would you choose to do so, even if you had the ability to break that bullet? The armed color domineering instantly covered Zephyr's wrist. Then rushed up and punched Borisalino to the ground. If you dodge, what will happen to the civilians behind you? Obviously, Zephyr is still more angry at his approach, he will avoid it today and will dodge it later. Sakaski on the side also smiled rarely when he saw Borisalino who was beaten to the ground, and then whispered, self-inflicted. The strength of the two benefits from the strength of the natural fruit, naturally there are many recruits who are stronger than the ordinary, and it is not a problem for them to directly seal a major general. But this is the rule, all are recruits, you have to be trained as recruits. Sakaski is serious and rigid and doesn't do such things as skipping class, although he also feels that the current basic training will do little for him. But Borisalino is different. If you can skip class and never go to class, if you can be lazy in class, you will definitely not give your all. After laughing at Borisalino, Sakaski closed his eyes and stood oblivious to what happened next. Clive, on the other hand, was out of breath after just one run, and his legs could not even support his standing. 
The whole Marin Fandor, more or less an island with a large area, one circle is enough for Clive to endure, not to mention three circles, and there is a time limit. What are these things today? Clive was a little helpless, he could complete the task, but he needed to pay the price of a fairy bean. Looking at the 50-point increase in character experience, Clive couldn't help but feel the desire to continue running laps. After all, if you can run four laps today, you will be able to reach the second level. According to the prompts given by the system, you can independently assign character experience to other skills after the second level. Forget it, it's better to fish, what lap to run. Clive eventually gave up, even if he didn't have lunch, at least he would still fish and starve himself. He dragged his tired body to the nearest shore and took out his fishing rod again. Then he took out a small bucket of stored bait and holy rods from the system space and fished. Soon, Lady Luck, who had abandoned him for ten years, seemed to choose to favor him again at this moment. When Clive pulled up the rod, he found that he had caught a colorful carp this time. If nothing else, at least this breed pirate world is impossible. He took the colorful koi curiously, and at this time, a voice came from the system. Ding, congratulations to the host for catching colorful koi, character experience increased by 5,000, congratulations to the host for rising to LB3, 2,853 3 thousandths. The experience distribution mode is on, the mall is on, each time you catch a fish, you can get different points, the mall only sells three goods a day, and there are three free refresh opportunities per day. Clive was overjoyed when he heard this, and then asked, do the fish caught before have points? Quote, points for fish caught by the host for the past 10 years have been stored and are now issued. Clive immediately clicked on the mall and looked up, and there were indeed 140,000 points in the points column. Hee hee, fish haven't been fished in vain in the past 10 years, and then, he clasped his hands together and muttered in the direction of the East China Sea, Dad, thank you for teaching me fishing skills. This sentence was not only said to his father in this life, but also to his father in his previous life. After all, you can only be rewarded if you catch fish, and it is useless if you can't catch it. The system is also not responsible for teaching you how to fish. Clive looked at the colorful koi in his hand. Oh, I don't know how you taste. Heartbeat is not as good as action. Clive directly picked up a few firewood and lit a fire, ready to grill the fish and eat it. In the process of grilling the fish, Clive also looked at the contents of the mall. Let me be healthy, what good things are in the mall today? The page of the mall is very introductory, only the price of three products, pictures, and the fork exit button and refresh button on the side. It seems that Lady Luck is not far away, and the three things here are all Clive needs. The first commodity is a bag of fairy beans, there are ten fairy beans in it, a bag of five thousand points, and looking at his balance, Clive suddenly swelled a little. Bye. The second product is 500 armed color domineering experience points, which is also 5,000 points. Bye. The third is this blockbuster commodity, a devil fruit, a random phantom beast species devil fruit, the price is 20,000 points. Bye. Although this is equivalent to spending 20,000 to buy a lottery opportunity, we Clive now have a lot of money. Clive looked at the refresh button that was still on on the side, and also involuntarily pressed it. But this time the prize was not so satisfactory. Navy Sabre, 120 points. Navy Standard Rifle, 130 points. 100,000 Bailey, 1,000 points. After that, Clive clicked the remaining two refreshes again, and the results were similar. Clive looked at the remaining 100,000 points and was a little disappointed. After all, he has always followed the principle of buying something and buying a cool. 1. And this time, he was obviously not happy, and he didn't even spend half of the money. Soon, the prize appeared in his hand, a bag of fairy beans in his left hand, and a demon fruit that was constantly changing shape in his right hand. Clive first included the devil fruit in the system space, after all, he was not a fruit ability person when he registered, and he might be suspected if he took the fruit of a phantom beast species rashly. After all, he is very clear about the urine nature of the world government and the top of the navy. In case the fruit is generally fine, if it is a rare fruit, it will be troublesome in case it is targeted by any Draco. Although there is a system, it is still not good to blind the gill wave before it develops. 
He first swallowed a fairy bean, and then ate the freshly roasted colorful koi. Hmm, the taste is a bit like soury, Clive took a bite and evaluated it slowly. He didn't put any seasoning, but the fish didn't have the slightest say smell and was very comfortable to eat. The sea salt flavor itself is just right, which makes people feel refreshed. Although he failed to fill his stomach, the physical strength brought by Xi'an Bean still made Clive more energetic. Taking off his sweat-soaked vest and leaving him behind, Clive began to run towards the road around the sea. Although a lot of writing has not passed, not much time has actually passed, and Clive still has plenty of time to complete the training. Due to the accumulation of enough fairy beans, the character level has also been raised to the level of enough to use the six styles, and Clive also let go of his hands and feet at this time. Along the way, he used shaving to rush the road, tired and unable to lift his legs, that is, a mouthful of fairy beans. Plus to level 3, the body after strengthening Clive, the use of shaving for a longer time. It took about an hour for Clive to complete the task. When he lay panting in the doorway of the training ground, he found that his experience bar had actually come to LV4. His current status is LV4, 3003 4 thousandths. After using the shave, do you gain 25 more experience per lap? Then, he saw that his shaving experience bar also increased by 100 to 330. The remaining two laps took Clive's three fairy beans to complete, but it seems that he made a loss-making transaction. 10 fairy beans in a bag, 5,000 points. The experience of armament color 500 is also 5,000 points. Xi'an beans are 500 pieces apiece, and I gained 150 experience in this round and used 1,500 points. Assuming that the experience of armed color and character experience are equal, it is also 10 points, and the experience of 150 seems to be 1,500 points. But fairy beans can be used to save lives. It is estimated that the points used to save lives are not only that, even if you add the experience of shaving. And this is a whole three, three life-saving opportunities. Yes, I'm stupid. But now it's too late to regret it, and I used it all, right. At this time, it was also lunchtime. The recruits in training also walked out one by one, well, except for Borisolino. At this time, Sakaski walked past Clive's side, and Sakaski, who saw Clive complete the task, was also a little surprised. The usually cold face showed a rare little appreciation. Not bad, under the premise of not shaving, I can't do it three times around Marin Fandor in three hours. Then he looked back and said, that Borisolino guy was beaten badly. Huh. Clive is very strange, this old churros can also be beaten. I also wanted to ask Sakaski, but found that Sakaski had gone far. Clive himself has no malice towards the character of Akainu Sakaski, whether in his past life or in the present who has known each other for a long time. In his position, Akainu just did his duty as a navy, and from the perspective of the navy, although iron-blooded and unscrupulous, he was indeed a qualified soldier. A soldier's vocation is obedience, everywhere. So Clive has always felt that the justice of the navy is false and embarrassing, because what they obey is not a good thing. Judging Sakaski from the side of the Navy and the world government, one conclusion will undoubtedly be drawn, talent. And from the side of the pirates and those innocent civilians, there is no doubt that the opposite conclusion will be reached, devils. Eliminate evil, this is Sakaski's code of conduct, it is better to kill a thousand mistakes than let one go, which is why Sakaski is disliked. Of course, everything has nothing to do with Clive. Do you see the conflict between the yellow ape and the red dog chi country? The must not only have a smooth worldliness, but also have outstanding strength, and let others think that you are mixed as well. That's what Clive idealized. With a dead salary, he took a high position in the headquarters of the Navy, then traveled every day, and when he retired, he went to the recruit camp to pick up Zephyr's class. The perfect life. If you don't want to stay in the Navy, then retire to your hometown rely on your own strength, protect the peace of the party, and exert your residual heat, which is also good. Clive doesn't have any big ideals, just to survive, but in this world, the hardest thing is to survive. Thinking of this, Clive couldn't help but clench his fists, he remembered the fisherman's father, although the East China Sea is peaceful, there are still many pirates. Although the era of sea pirates has not yet begun, the danger cannot be ignored. Are you okay? 
Clive lay on his back and looked at the sky, and couldn't help but think of his relatives in the distance, and of the father who pulled himself up alone and did not starve himself to death. After being promoted to colonel, he decided to bring his father to Marin Fando, and although the East China Sea was relatively calm, it was safer for Marin Fando, which was the headquarters of the Navy. Just when Clive sighed, Zeffa also just walked out of it and looked at Clive lying on the ground and said, the boy is good, I didn't expect you to finish running. Although Clive didn't know how Zeffa was sure he had completed three laps, Clive wisely didn't ask questions. Because he saw the, corpse, of Borisolino lying in the training ground. He pointed to Borisolino and asked, E.H., what happened to him? Not dead, right? Quote. Don't worry, the old man is still a little measured, relax your muscles, otherwise it will hurt, by the way, remember to eat after you can get up, you can't continue your afternoon training if you don't eat enough. Zeffa left after speaking, and before his right arm was cut off and his student was killed, he was so kind at this time. Clive thought of this and looked at Borisolino, who was lying on the corpse. Well, overall, he is still a kind teacher, probably. After struggling to get up and walk to Borisolino's side, Clive sat down beside him. Still alive. Borisolino said intermittently, also, I'm still alive, but can you carry me to the infirmary? Quote. Think beautifully, Clive flatly refused his request. If you want to say why, it's that I'm tired too, and the culprit of all this is you, Borisolino, you better lie down a little longer. With that, Clive got up and left. The sentence just now was half true. Firstly, Clive really did not have the strength to carry such a three-meter man to the infirmary now, and secondly, he did not want to. After all, these three laps are all Borisolino's pots, although without him, his own koi may be gone. Forget it, who called me good, you just lie down for a while, and I'll bring you the food later. Borisolino did not speak, but nodded slightly, and it seemed that he had indeed been taught by Zeffa. Clive turned and left, and then couldn't help shaking his head, I don't know how this provoked Zeffa. After lunch, Clive still couldn't bear to talk about this like this, and the character he liked in his previous life was still on the cold floor of the training ground. He still helped him to the infirmary, but with Borisolino's strength at this time, his injuries were almost healed after dinner. It's that some muscular contusions, bones, internal organs and so on are still not a big deal. Zeffa beats people to pain, not death. Clive looked at Borisolino lying leisurely on the bed, and he couldn't help but think. I don't know what kind of strength he just joined the Navy during this period. Clive opened the system and clicked on the strength scan column. Soon, a LB24 logo appeared in front of Clive's eyes, followed by a parenthesis that read. Elite Rear Admiral of the Headquarters of the Navy. He glanced at his current self. Only poor LB4 did not say, even the parentheses that followed it only said. Ordinary soldier of the Navy. However, thinking that the other party was 11 years older than him and was a natural fruit ability, Clive's original confidence that had been hit by some was rekindled again. Just kidding, I can't catch up with you with the system. If I can't catch up, I might as well buy a piece of tofu and kill it. Quote. Soon. He thought of a random phantom beast demon fruit that he bought in the mall in the morning. He couldn't help but look forward to it. What will it be? Do you want to open it now? Or pick a zodiac auspicious day? Quote. Just when Clive was about to use this, lottery, opportunity, he couldn't help but hesitate. After all, this is such a lottery opportunity that he spent one-seventh of his entire net worth. What if you get pumped? Although phantom beast species generally do not have any useless or chicken rib fruits, but, but there are not many handsome ones. After all, strength we can practice on our own, but handsome, is a lifetime thing. Gritting his teeth, Clive still used up this lottery opportunity, of course, all this happened in the system space, and Borisolino lying next to Clive could not be seen. The ever-changing fruit finally stopped at this time, turning into a cantaloupe with a blue glow and strange threads. It looks like the fruit ability of the ice system. At the moment when the fruit had just solidified its shape, such a guess appeared in his mind. But, what fantasy species has the ability of the ice system? Forgive Clive's poor understanding of mythological knowledge, he really couldn't think of any divine beast's authority related to ice in the first place. Until Clive saw the label of this fruit in the system space. 
Animal lineage, human fruit, phantom beast species, Susano's male form. Susano. I seem to have heard this name somewhere. Wait, that's right. Isn't this one of the three great gods? Hey, why did I forget about this stubble? It wasn't until he saw the name of the fruit that Clive reacted, although the phantom beast species is called the phantom beast species, but there are also branches in it. Just like the great Buddha fruit of the warring states of the Buddha, the phantom beast species naturally has such a branch as the fruit of everyone. And this branch, generally manifested in the image of gods, or other mythological humanoid creatures. At this moment, Clive was convinced that Lady Luck did not give up on herself, she just stuck in traffic on the way here. Or maybe there were more people crossing recently, which kept her busy, and she was freeing her hand to care for him. Borisalino, who was wrapped in bandages on the bed, looked at Clive who suddenly showed a weird smile, and also asked, Hey, are you okay? Quote. Clive was asked by Borisalino like this, and he also, swished, his spirits. He quickly straightened his smiling back, but then said, It's okay, it's nothing, by the way, how are you recovering, the afternoon training is about to begin. Ah, there is no problem with the body, but Zephyr, this old man is really ruthless, Borisalino said with some trepidation, it's really terrible. Clive also said, don't talk about this, it's about to start training, aren't you ready to go? Quote. Borisalino said with a look of indifference, well, it doesn't matter, my words are to say that you will not be late to leave three seconds before class. Clive sighed, forget it, since you choose so, I won't bother you. With that, Clive went out, he had to find a place to eat the devil fruit before starting training. Clive found a secluded corner, then quickly took out the fruit and ate it, then quickly threw the rest of the fruit into the system space. Blah blah, I know it's unpalatable, but it's too much. Quote. Clive took a sip and almost didn't spit out his bile. The taste of the devil fruit really lived up to its name, and one bite made Clive almost die. Perhaps Bucky's eating method of not chewing a bite and swallowing it whole is the right way to open it. But he estimated that if he swallowed a cantaloupe alive, 80% would choke to death. But soon, Clive didn't have time to taste the devil fruit. His body began to undergo some subtle changes, and an indescribable force began to flow from his abdomen towards his limbs. At the same time, Clive's character experience bar also began to grow rapidly. 3003, 4003, 5003, 6003, 7003, 8003. The addition of 1100 experience, quickly increasing Clive's level, without any intention of stopping. LB4, LB5, LB6, LB7. After a while, the level stopped in the LB18 column, and Clive's experience bar came 18,003 And behind his rank bar, the entry of ordinary soldiers in the original Navy has also become an elite colonel of the Navy headquarters. Feeling the unprecedented power, Clive is now a little inflated. He subconsciously wanted to use the fruit's ability, but found that even if he used it, his body did not change at all, which was really strange. Clive searched all over his body, but only found a red jade that appeared on his chest, which was the embodiment of his ability to use the fruit. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Clive couldn't help but feel a little depressed. It is obviously the fruit of the animal line, why is there almost no change at all, this is too faceless, right? But fortunately, at least the fact that you eat the fruit can be well concealed. He looked at his panel and saw that there was indeed a new item in the skills column. Susano Fruit LV101000. Obviously, if you want more changes in the body, you need to constantly develop fruit. Clive touched the Guyu on his chest, but was surprised to find that his hand was so stretched in. I'll go. Without waiting for Clive to be surprised, he felt his hand reach in to touch something. He subconsciously withdrew his hand, only to see a golden blade flying out horizontally, directly cutting off several warships docked in the harbor. It's over, get out. Just kidding, damaging a warship is a felony. Clive has no plans to defect from the Navy right now. Witty, he left the scene with a shave a second before the alarm bell rang. Thanks to the strong physical strength brought by the fruit, he returned to the training ground in a short time very easily. No one will suspect the recruits. First, because this attack is like the attack of Jonau and even Dejanhao. 
The second is the only person capable of destroying warships, the two owners of the fruits of nature, and, Mancha S. D. Dorag. Yes, Dorag is actually a member of the new barracks, but well, he has been training with his father Carp, and has hardly been to the new barracks, and today is the first time Clive has met this future leader of the Revolutionary Army. How to say, now he does not have that red tattoo on his face, and the whole person is a lot refreshed. Zepha did not show up, and Clive guessed that he was going to look for the murderer of the warship. He pretended to step forward and asked Sakuski, who was familiar on the side, Sakuski, what's wrong? Why did the alarm go off? Quote. Sakuski said with a solemn face, it seems that the warship in the port was cut off by a sword chi, maybe the enemy invaded. Clive pretended to be surprised, then stepped aside and stood beside Borisalino, what about Z Corporation? Quote. Oh, you're here, teacher Zephyr was just called away by the warring states general with a phone worm, it seems that he went to a meeting, and today's training should probably stop, right? After all, such a big thing happened. Hearing Borisalino's answer, Clive also let go of his heart, although he didn't know what to do in the future, but he should not doubt his body. However, to the disappointment of both Borisalino and Clive, Within a few minutes, Zepha walked in with a sad look on his face and began the day's training. He did not say what happened, presumably asked to keep it secret. Not long after a group of people practiced, Zepha suddenly called out to everyone. Stop for a moment, we need to do a test of Tao power. Everyone stopped one after another, because the test of Tao power was still a relatively common thing. If nothing else, in less than two weeks after starting training, they had undergone at least three Tao strength tests. Because this allows Zepha to intuitively see the strength of the trainees, it is easy to arrange different training methods. Everyone naturally followed Zepha to the area where the Tao force tester was located. Only Clive trembled slightly uncontrollably. None of this escaped Borisalino's observation. But he just smiled, then patted Clive and said, don't be too nervous, it's not good to be seen. After that, he walked towards the tester. Clive was also frightened by Borisalino's words and broke into a cold sweat, and then calmed down and calmed his mind. Don't be nervous, maybe it's just an ordinary test, it's a big deal if I hide a little. After building in his heart, Clive also followed Borisalino and walked towards the tester. Zepha also said after everyone walked in. Although that guy from the Warring States asked me to keep it a secret, I decided to make it clear first, you are my first students, and I don't want to have any doubts about you. I believe you all know that the alarm at the headquarters just went off, and you also know that a warship was cut off by a suspected John L. Level intruder. No suspect was found nearby, the suspect should be hiding inside Marin Fandor. The strength of those who have the ability to damage warships will definitely not be weak, although they don't want to but they still have to make a test of your Tao strength, don't worry, just go all out. Zepha said a bunch of things, to sum it up. Whatever you want, even if it's really you who do it, I'll carry it for you, it's just a warship, Lao Tzu still has these faces, as long as you don't really come to sabotage. Clive was also relieved, at least no matter what, this matter was considered over. The number of students in this class is also not large, because it is the first class, so the number of students including Clive is less than 20. Waited for the selection a month later. But well, according to Clive's observations, these classmates seem to appear rarely in the future. One is that they are generally older than Clive, and Sakuski, Borisalino and Dorag are the closest to him. Training with a group of classmates in their 20s and 30s is not an easy task. After all, even Zepha, who is an instructor, is 43 years old, not much older than the largest trainee. These classmates, who rarely appeared in the future, according to Clive's guess, should have died most of them in the battle with the pirates. It is estimated that those who survived were also assigned to major bases because of military merit or simply stayed in the headquarters, so there was no chance to appear. However, it can be said that the source of students in this first batch is definitely the best, and it is also the one with the most talents in the future. Soon someone went up to test his Tao power, and the first person to stand up was Sakuski. This was also expected by Clive. After more than a week of getting along, coupled with the analysis of the plot of the previous life, it can be said that the image of Sakuski the red dog has a relatively complete image in his heart. 
At least for now, in addition to talking little and being cold, Sakuski has not shown an overreaction to the pirates. Treat your classmates without being friendly, at least not disgusting. But the class can talk to him a few words, and that is Borisolino, the sleek old churros. I saw him standing in front of the tester, his right hand began to turn red, and the temperature gradually rose, even Clive, who was standing more than 10 meters away, felt the heat of the high temperature. A bearded man beside Clive wiped the sweat on his forehead and said. It's a monster of nature, and this kind of oppressive force is really something I can't wait. Dot quote. The man's name was Dromo, and Clive had an impression of him, a colonel from the North Sea, proficient in the six styles, who came here mainly to hone his skills in order to rise to the headquarters. Clive did not respond to his words, he was the youngest cadet in the entire recruit camp. Even he couldn't figure out why he was transferred here from the East China Sea, after all, he was not a martial arts wizard. However, the people in the new barracks are quite friendly and take good care of him, and most of them regard him as a younger brother due to the age gap, a few who are too old look at his son. Closing parenthesis. In other words, Borisolino, the old, is willing to treat Clive as an equal friend. Just when Clive was thinking far away, Sakuski, who had been charging for a long time, also punched out. Pluto. Only a, bang, was heard, and the entire tester was directly hit and exploded. A huge meltdown mark appeared directly in the center of the tester, and the magma dripped down, as long as the brain knows that this thing is useless. Zepha shook his head with some headache, and then waved his hand to let someone carry another one up, as if he had expected this for a long time. And the truth is just as Clive thought. There are more than one tester piled up not far away, anyway, it is completely enough for such a person in the new barracks. Zepha said to Sakuski, the fruit development is good, but are you ready to give up your kendo? Quote. The long knife that Sakuski had been carrying on his back was not carried today, and Zepha could see this change as long as he was not blind. Ah, my own talent in kendo is average, since I have better means, there is no need to hang from a tree. Zepha also nodded when he heard this, and then motioned for Sakuski to go away. Compared with the performance of Sakuski directly destroying the tester, the performance of the latter few seems a little average. Even if some people's Dao power has reached two or three thousand, and their strength is enough to reach the level of brigadier general or even major general, it has not caused too much storm. After all, there are many monsters this time. Clive, Dorag, and Borisolino were not as active as Sakuski, but silently waited for the others to finish the test first. During the process, Borisolino asked, Hey, Clive, what do you think of this person Sakuski? Quote. Clive glanced at Sakuski, who was doing a squat with this weight, and said. If I were a leader, I liked Sakuski, if I were a civilian, I wouldn't like him. Borisolino whispered. What an unexpected answer, can you ask why? Quote. The conversation between the two also attracted Dorag, who had been very cold on the side. Can I discuss it together? Borisolino said with a smile on his face. Of course, of course, welcome. Clive glanced at Dorag with a little curiosity, and then spoke. He is a serious man, I believe that he will absolutely carry out orders, he will be a qualified military man, but, I don't say the urine romance of the world government, you know it, right? Quote. Borisolino whispered with a, frightened, look. Hey, it's better not to say this kind of thing. Dorag looked solemn, but did not express any opinion. Clive also followed Borisolino's words down the steps. Yes, if you don't say bad things about your boss, it will not be good to affect your future salary. After speaking, the two looked at each other and smiled. Clive also read something different from Borisolino's eyes. At least Borisolino's performance convinced him of the news that he was an undercover agent of the Revolutionary Army. Next, Clive. Zephyr's voice sounded, and Clive stood up in response. Okay too, I'm going to go on, don't look at my jokes. Borisolino showed that lewd smile and said. No, 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 I believe you must be hiding your strength. Oh, don't be disappointed. To be honest, Clive doesn't really have much of a perception of his strength. Even if the entry says an elite colonel of the navy, he is actually not sure about himself. After all, that mysterious fruit made him a little confused, and even if he used the fruit ability, there was no change in body shape like the warring states. 
It's just that there is an extra gojade in the chest, and then you can shoot sword chi outward. And this trick must not be used here. Clive took a deep breath and used the spiral pill skill book in the system space. Ding, congratulations to the host for learning spiral pills, because chakra does not exist in the host's body, the use of spiral pills has turned to consuming physical strength, armed color domineering. Phew. Hearing the explanation of the system, Clive was also relieved, and then condensed a spiral pill in his hand. Oh, I remember this guy hasn't eaten the devil fruit. Could it be, a smile appeared at the corner of Borisolino's mouth. Clive came to the tester, then took a few steps back, and then used the shaving to make a run forward, adding kinetic energy to his spiral pill. When the spiral pellet hit the tester, there was no sound, but the spiral pellet directly punched the tester. The entire tester was not destroyed like Sakuski, but it was also crossed. After penetrating the tester, the spiral pellet rushed straight into the ground and punched a circular groove. Clive was also a little shocked when he saw this. He didn't feel much consumption in this blow, and if he wanted to, he could even hit an attack that was several times stronger. It's not a loss that the prince used the housekeeping skills of the finale all the way, and it was really fierce. After this blow, his experience bar also jumped. Shaving's experience went up 10 points, spiral pills up 25 points, and character experience up 15 points. Clive glanced at the skill panel. Rokushi shave LV1 341 thousandths, spiral pill LV1 25 one thousandths. And the 15 points of experience that the character has increased is like not rising baron. Zepha looked at Clive's unique hand, and also nodded. But he also had a small question. Clive did not excel in his previous training, whether it was physical training or basic physical training, he was the bottom one. Neither devil fruit abilities, nor like a swordsman with a sword. Since he had such strength, why did he hide his strength before? Then he thought of a situation. This kid seems to be very chatty with the Borisolino. Should it be said that it is a clustering of things? Hiding strength is just for laziness, and the panting look is quite similar. Zepha couldn't help but smile when he thought of this, and he had already planned for the special training of Clive in the future. Only 15 years old good seedlings, the plasticity is much stronger than the group of 20 or 30 year old trainees, and the talent is not weak, all by their own thinking can get to this step will not be a simple guy. In line with the idea that, tomorrow's navy cannot be ignored, Zepha's heart suddenly surged with a strong sense of responsibility. He vowed to, save, Clive, a young man who had embarked on the path of a lazy and Borisolino. If Clive knew that Zepha's performance after witnessing his performance was this idea, I am afraid that the grievance in his heart would come up. Heaven and earth conscience, he has never been lazy in training. After all, if the strength is not up to standard, if you don't practice hard, will you wait to be killed by the aftermath of the battle between the strong and the future? That dead one is too faceless, and it is a shame to the predecessors who are crossers. Very well, go down, next, Borisolino. The subsequent test was unsuspenseful, and after Borisolino and Dorag broke the two testers again, the test also came to an end. An adjutant standing behind Zepha sighed. Alas, in this case, the budget for this semester must have exceeded the target, and the air marshal is estimated to say again. Zepha also smiled, pointed to the four Clive and said, Well, at least the mainstay of the Navy in the future, I have already found, as long as it is cultivated, it is definitely the existence of four generals. The adjutant glanced at the four people and smiled. Yes, it's really four monsters, this is the first time I've seen a Dao force tester broken except for Lieutenant General Karp, and it's four at a time. Okay, okay, help me write the report, my marshal heir will report the money this time. No problem, I believe that the air marshal knows that there are so many geniuses, I believe that the budget will definitely increase. Don't think so simple, the Draco banquet recently, the funds of the navy will be a little tight in these two months, but there should be no big problems. It's that Draco again. After Zepha stopped the adjutant's speech, he also stopped talking to the adjutant, and turned to the group of trainees. Boys. Seven days later, there will be a competition to enter the elite training camp. For all navies below the Commodore of the Four Seas and the Great Route, I don't want anyone to be eliminated from this ranks. Got it. Quote. All the trainees laughed and said. Ha ha ha, Zepha sensei, don't look down on us. 
stinky boys, don't rejoice too early. The next seven days will be hell week, and the training will not end until you can't get up. Quote. When Borisalino heard Zephyr's words, he also raised his forehead with a headache. Spare me, I don't want to sweat. Clive also sighed. Then how to do it? Borisalino also replied. So what to do? So what's the matter? So what's the matter? Hell Week began methodical training amid wailing. It also ended with cheers from the cadets. Seven days passed in a flash, and Clive gained a lot in these seven days. Not to mention the various experiences of sneaking out and fishing for seven days. It is the newly learned four moves and six styles in addition to finger guns and shaving in these seven days, as well as the initial mastery, the armed color domineering with a level of LV1, which is enough to make Clive very satisfied. The only thing he was a little upset about was that his luck seemed to run out after that day. In the future, no matter how he changes places to fish, he can only catch all kinds of experience. Fortunately, the system won't let you catch skills and experience that you don't know at all, and it doesn't make him lose too much. Clive sat on the warship and flipped through his current panel. Host. Clive, LV18, 19803 Skills. Rokushi Shaving LV2, 1132000, 2, Rokushi Shaving LV2, 1102000, 2, Armed Color Domineering LV1, 1002 2, 2000. Susano Fruit LV2, 2111 3000, Spiral Maru LV2, 1398 2000, Rokushi Iron Block LV1, 991 thousandths. Rokushi Paper LV2, 1239 2000, Rokushi Arashi LV2, 1423 2000, Rokushi Sukibu LV2, 1522 thousand. Props. 8 Fairy Beans. Weapon. Holy Rod LV1, 991 thousandths. Now he is sitting on the way to the examination site, as for why he is not placed at the headquarters of the Navy for the selection of the elite training camp. According to Clive's own overheard, it seems that Sengoku, who is currently in charge of finances, wisely chose to place the selection site on a desert island near the headquarters after estimating the cost of maintenance after the incident. So, these trainees of the headquarters were on a boat and headed to the desert island under the leadership of Zepha. And the contestants from the bases of the Four Seas and the Great Route also drove towards this place in boats at this time. As for why this competition has such a big appeal, the main reason is probably that the Sengoku said that as long as the students who graduate from here can pass the graduation examination, they can become colonels and even brigadier generals of the headquarters so positively. Clive avoided the crowd and came to the aft deck to start fishing. Although he also felt that the boat was fishing while driving, it was estimated that he could not catch any normal fish. However, this is not used in the system. Based on the rainbow fish caught last time, plus seven days of speculation. Clive also understood one thing. In addition to gaining experience in catching the original fish of the pirate world, with the blessing of the system, he can also catch some special fish produced by the system. This type of fish does not appear in fixed locations, and it can be said that as long as Clive throws the hook of the holy rod, there is a chance to catch it. Even if there is no water in that place, there is a chance. Although the chances of this coming are very small. And this fish generally carries a lot of experience and points, and even some rare prizes. The probability of getting something good is much higher than the probability of all kinds of native small fish that Clive catches. Neptune Clive hasn't fished before, I don't know the probability, but he is quite like trying it now. At least now, he is not afraid of small sea beasts of the level of the king of the near sea. It's a pity, no fool Neptune class will dangle near the headquarters of the navy. After all, the navy's demand for food is still quite high. It was difficult to go to sea today, and Clive decided to try his luck. Maybe what kind of system limited fish or sea king can you catch? Even if you can't catch it, aren't there still teammates? Let's help catch it and add food. Just when Clive was in a daze, there were really fish hooked, occasionally, not fish, but sea kings. Clive knew how big the fish was just by looking at the shadows below the surface. If you change to a world with a normal appetite, such a strip is estimated to be enough for a hundred people to eat for four or five days. Soon, he felt a huge pull, and the whole person was dragged into the sea. Oops. Doesn't being dragged into the sea reveal the fact that I am capable? Quote. 
Clive shouted violently. Boris Alino. Help. Help. Quote. Hearing Clive's shouting, not only Boris Alino, but the entire ship. Boris Alino pouted and ran directly to Clive's side as a streamer. When he saw the object of wrestling with Clive, he couldn't help but be startled. Hey, hey, what did you kid catch up? Leave it alone, help, I'm going to fall. Boris Alino didn't ask much, directly hugged Clive's waist and began to drag back. But to the surprise of the two, the hooked fish not only was not directly dragged up, but more forcefully. At this moment, even Boris Alino, who came to help, was about to be dragged down. Clive felt Boris Alino's weakening strength, and also understood that Boris Alino had retreated. He quickly roared, You. If you dare to let go, I will spread the video of you dancing. Quote. E.H., it's really cunning, obviously you taught me that dance. Although I taught you PPAP, aren't you very happy dancing? Forget it, you hold on for three seconds, I'll go and call you some helpers. Don't break your word, you guy, go quickly. Boris Alino disappeared instantly, and Clive was also a Chi Dantian with full fruit ability. Its own strength reached its peak with the increase of Susano's fruit. All of a sudden, it was tied with the sea beast below. Since the people present were not weak, they came quite quickly. Zepha was the first to rush over, and he who originally looked very worried with a sad face, when he saw the predicament Clive was facing, he couldn't help but helplessly raise his forehead and then make way for the trainees behind him. Just as Clive was dragged step by step into the sea, a pair of big hands grabbed his waist. Clive looked back and was surprised to see that it was Sakaski. This was something he did not expect, and behind him was Borisalino. The three of them worked hard together, and they were able to reach a draw with that Sea King class, and they did not advance or retreat each other. Seeing this, Zepha also stopped Dorag and the other trainees who were about to step forward, and then said with a smile to the three. You guys, if you are dragged down by a fish, go back to training and double the standard of Hell Week. Quote. Hearing this, the three of them showed surprised expressions. After all, double the training is enough for them, let alone double. The three of them began to exert themselves one after another, and finally, the Sea King class was pulled up by them. The waves splashed by the Sea Kings breaking through the waves directly formed a huge water curtain, and then a shadow tens of meters long and a hundred meters wide shrouded the warship. And the three of them obviously used too much force, coupled with too tight a hug, quickly retreated backwards, and after smashing the fence of the ship, fell straight into the sea and exchanged poles with the Sea Kings. Clive was lucky. He put on the fence and didn't fall, but the two well-wishers, Sakaski and Borisalino, were miserable. The two of them bubbled together on the surface of the sea in tacit agreement, and then sank. And before the Sea King class fell on the ship, it was divided into a suitable size by the cadets on the ship and Zephyr's adjutant, and piled up on the ship in layers. Its strength is not strong, three people can pick one at random can second it, just because of the special breed, its weight is very heavy, and its body size is huge. The strength of the three is not strong now, so the current one for three scene will be formed. Zepha looked at the Sea King corpses piled up on the boat, and also said with satisfaction, very good, save a lot of food expenses, go to a few people to pick up those two unlucky eggs, I don't want them to die here. A few trainees took the order with a smile, and then jumped off the sea to fish for people. I didn't expect that among the three, it turned out to be Clive's strength is the strongest, heck, but it's still far behind, but this level of strength is not enough to deal with future dangers. Zepha looked at the two people who were salvaged to the surface of the sea and also shook his head with a smile. Decided, after going back, the strength training of the three needs to be doubled. Clive was still very happy to see the 400 XP added by his holy rod, as well as the 500 XP added by Susano Fruit and the character. At least he has found a way to upgrade. According to this progress, when you reach the strength of the lieutenant general, and then go to the windless belt to slip around, this strength will definitely rise. This is a late stage outbreak system. He turned on the system, and while looking at his panel, he accidentally discovered that the system had an additional function. Post. Clive, LV18, 20,300, 330,000. Skills. 
Rokushi Shaving LV2 1132000 Rokushi Shaving LV2 1102-2000 Armed Color Domineering LV1 1002-2000 Suzano Fruit LV2 2611-3000 Spiral Pill LV2 1398-2000 Rokushi Iron Block LV1 991000 Rokushi Paper LV2 1239 2000 Rokushi Arashi LV2 1423 2000 Rokushi Sukibu LV2 1520 2000 Props 8 Fairy Beans Weapon Holy Rod LV2 1390 2000 Catch the first Sea King The bait system is on Each time you kill an enemy beast or catch a Sea King you will get different bait depending on your strength Bait increases the probability of the host catching a particular fish. Special fish carry special items, including but not limited to weapons, points, special bloodlines, skills. Clive saw this spirit and immediately went up. Is this the gospel of non-chiefs? He has begun to fantasize about his own developed life in the future. Although there is no intention to fight, but the invincibility of the world is something that every man thinks. It's just that if Clive is really invincible in the world, he will definitely return to the mountains and forests, where he will play a pig and eat a tiger, which is too cool. He glanced at the bait he had obtained after fishing for sea kings, and it was a pale golden bait. This color, needless to say, must be of a high grade. He just wanted to get up and go fishing again, but was held down by Dorag and was just about to get up. Still want to fish. The kitchen has already finished cooking that sea king, don't you go and taste it. After all, you caught it. Clive just wanted to explain, but his stomach betrayed him in the first place and let out. A cooing sound. Well, fishing can be caught whenever you want, but if you don't eat this meat, you will be robbed by those starving ghosts. The appetite of people in the pirate world is not for fun, especially those with superior strength. And most of the people on board have an outstanding appetite, typical of which is Zepha, who has just retired. The meat like a small building height went to the small half at once. Clive looked at the scene in front of him and couldn't help but think of a question. Is it the Navy's military expenditure, in addition to arms and equipment, the biggest expense is food. After all, this group of people can really eat, a huge Sea King class, Clive feels that the most can survive tonight. And Zepha is also happily tearing and biting the meat while drinking. The flush after excessive alcohol intake appeared on his face, and he held up the bottle. Rookies. All are full, and the amount of training will not be light. Quote. Immediately, he burst out laughing despite the sudden quiet atmosphere around him. After laughing for a while, he realized that there was silence around him. Hey, do you young people want to lie down here? High up, high up. Eat everything, not enough for Clive and the three of them to fish a little more. Quote. Clive had a black line on his face, and he looked at Borisalino and Sakaski, and their expressions were similar. Such a Zepha is really rare. After drinking and eating, the group did not train as Zepha said, but went back to their rooms to sleep. When they woke up, the warship also reached the desert island. An engineering unit had already arrived there and started building the ring, and a simple barracks had been built halfway up the mountain, which was supposed to be for the competitors. Zepha also said after disembarking with everyone, There is no danger in this island, before the start of the competition, if you want to stroll, if you are attacked and injured by the fierce beasts in the forest, then give up this selection yourself, you are too weak. Do you understand? Quote. Understood. After that, Zepha had another brief lecture before disbanding the team. When Clive heard the disbandment, he also rushed out of the group like a wild horse and ran towards a shore suitable for fishing. Borisalino looked at Clive who ran away and scratched his head, and said half helplessly, this guy, haven't learned your lesson yet. This piece is not Marin Fando, there are many sea kings. Well, anyway, it's not impossible to beat those sea kings, don't worry too much. Clive quickly ran to the beach, took out the pale golden bait and hung it on the holy rod, and threw the hook into the sea at once. The fish didn't take the bait as quickly as he expected, and while waiting, Clive looked at the New Day's store merchandise. During Hell Week, even if he used up his refresh opportunities three times a day, the best thing was freely distributable experience, and there was no good thing like when he first started. Such as devil fruits and the like. This made Clive very depressed. 
After all, for seven days, he theorized about twelve things every day, and he was stunned that he couldn't find anything that could be used except experience. This week, he actually spent 20,000 points, counting the points obtained from fishing usually, he only used less than 3,000 points. Today, he opened the mall with excitement. Found inside. Inside is the same thing as the previous seven days, but today's luck is good. Swipe out two freely assignable experiences, adding up to a total of 3,000 points for a total of 3,000 points. This experience became cheaper as Clive's strength grew. Also, at that time, 3,000 experience was enough for Clive to advance two levels, now what? That is, a tenth of the amount, not cheap is strange. According to Clive's estimates, the experience required for subsequent upgrades should increase geometrically, and the possibility of the store swiping points will also increase. So, the experience that has fallen to 1 to 1 now, how much will it fall in the later stage? Clive silently adds experience to the roles that are currently most lacking. He found that the level of the skill actually changed a multiplier, except, of course, the tricolor domineering. For example, a level 1 spiral pill can deal 100% of its attack power, and level 2 is 110%. But this percentage is added on top of your body. And character levels are the basis for this. For now, Clive feels that the basics are the most important, mainly because the character's experience can only be obtained by catching rare fish species and training himself. Unlike skill experience, although there are many types, the probability is still much higher than the character experience. And just when he had just finished adding experience, the fishing rod began to shake slightly. The fish is hooked. Clive quickly pulled his eyes, and sure enough, he pulled up a koi that emitted colorful light. Last time it brought 5,000 experience, and this time, what will it be? The moment the koi is caught, the system's alarm sound sounds along with the splashing water. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the bubble demon eye, 1,000 free experience points, 2,000 points. When the koi fell into Clive's hands, he was stunned again. Bubble demon eye. What is it? Why don't you give me a straight death demon eye? Quote. He clicked on the system's introduction to the bubble demon eye, which reads this. The magic eye of bubbles, from the character in the, Aeromal 2 incident book, in the moon world, Caleb Frampton. The magic eye level is gem level, the specific effect is to recreate the past in the present, here is a video of the original character battle, please click the triangle button in the lower left corner. Clive clicked the play button, and a tall old black man immediately appeared inside. After a short video, Clive was also surprised by the ability of this magic eye. It can be said that this magic eye is a thing that makes Clive completely ignore the other party's sights and smells when put in the pirate world. Because seeing and hearing is only a pre-judgment action in the end, holding up the skill of sensing the opponent, and practicing to the depths can peek into the future. But the most important thing is to see and smell the color is used in battle, a sight and smell that cannot predict the opponent's movements is a fierce beast that has lost its limbs. The bubble demon eye, on the other hand, allows attacks to occur in the past and then reappear in the present, which means that every attack that Clive hits has already occurred on the timeline. In other words, there is no way to avoid it. Just like Faker in the video, even if his combat power is far superior to that of Father Caliber and he can kill him in one move, he still can't dodge his attacks. Perhaps only an intuition like Saber's or Uncle B's pseudo heart can be avoided by intuition. Clive clicked the use button with satisfaction, after all, although this thing is not as domineering as the demon eye of death, it is also a full-fledged bug in the pirate world. Friendly reminder, there are side effects in the bubble demon eye, do I need to spend 20,000 points to remove? When Clive heard the side effects, he was first startled, then asked, how many points do I have now? Quote. 96,000 points. What are the side effects? What you see in the present will coincide with the past seen by the shadow devil's eye, in other words, you will have difficulty seeing the present and the future. Go ahead, I'm not behind the 20,000 points. Although Clive does not know what the impact of this so-called overlap between the past and the present will have, more is better than less, and he does not lack the 20,000 points, and it is a good habit to spend money on disasters. Just after Clive said these words, he felt a cool feeling appear in his eye sockets, as if some other force was transforming his eyes. 
Although it was only for a brief moment, it also made Clive clearly feel the improvement of his strength. At least he shot now, that can be said to mean where to hit, definitely not biased. Even if it is off, it is easy to use the bubble demon eye to place the attack in the right position. E.H., you said I should practice a hand of marksmanship and be a sniper, the thought arose in Clive's mind. But soon, he dismissed this idea, firstly, because the combat form of the holy rod was a taedao, and secondly, because in his senses, cutting people with a sword was still better than using a gun. Except for dual-wielding pistols the point is that the pistols of pirate world do not look good. However, if you don't use a divine weapon, it's a typical act of losers. He immediately clicked on the store, about to click the first refresh button. God forbid, Buddha also bless, let me go out of the sword technique, I beg you, open. After a short blue screen, the mall swiped out today's second wave of goods. 3 100 point experience. Clive sighed, bought them all, and clicked on the second refresh. Well, this time I got the points. Changed into a uniform navy uniform, and the upper and lower sets are just right. Forget it, there is a lack of a change of clothes. After buying them, Clive clicked on them a third time. Clive is the refresh button that is pressed with his eyes closed. Please, come out with a good one. When Clive opened his eyes, he finally saw something related to swordsmanship. Basic sword art collection, priced at 40,000 points. When Clive saw this, he almost blushed. This is good. Quote. After clicking on the purchase without hesitation, Clive clicked to use it for the first time. In an instant, knowledge and experience of swordsmanship flooded into his mind. The knife cuts the flesh, the heart cuts the soul. Listen with your ears, cut with your heart. Sword, there will be no hesitation. Whether you can kill the other party does not depend on whether the weapon is sharp or not. A large series of quotes poured into Clive's body with a basic sword move in one move. Clive, who played with tainted milk powder for a year or two in elementary school, is naturally familiar with these quotes. It seems that this knowledge is all from the same as that GSD. I don't know how long it took, Clive slowly woke up from his sleep, and he had a dream full of memories. But when he opened his eyes, what he saw was not a good thing. As soon as he opened his eyes, Borisolino's shoehorn face appeared in front of his eyes. Wow. Clive was so frightened that he bounced straight from the ground, and when he picked up the holy rod at hand, he struck Borisolino out with a pseudo slash. That's right, Clive was so scared that he used armed colors. No way, the frightening effect caused by the sudden appearance of that face is too strong, although the current Borisolino is far less bumpy than at the beginning of the plot, and even a little handsome when you look closely. But I can't stand his classic crooked smile, the thriller effect is too strong. Just Clive's little heart can't stand it for the time being. Borisolino was also directly beaten into the rock wall on the side, but fortunately, his physique was quite resistant, and Clive did not take him for a second. Otherwise, the three major generals in the future are estimated to be able to change people. Borisolino complained, rubbing the part of his waist that had been hit by Clive. I came to see that you didn't catch fish, and I thought something happened to you while lying here, I didn't expect that, it's quite spiritual. Clive was also quite embarrassed, and put the holy rod on his shoulder and said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's mainly your face. No need to apologize, just give me that video, Borisolino immediately showed a sly smile on his face. No, only this thing is impossible. Clive immediately refused sternly. E.H. Why? Quote. This is your important handle in my hands. Hearing this, Borisolino also said helplessly, forget it, but can you introduce me to your fishing rod? It seems to be very useful, so a large sea king can be fished without the slightest trace of damage. When Clive heard this, he also realized that he was still too swaggering with a fishing rod, and it was difficult not to arouse the suspicion of others. What to do about it? What is the reason for the round? Ah, there you have. This, in fact, I picked it up in a relic when I was a child. When Clive said this, his face was already beaded with sweat unnaturally, and the whole person looked very nervous. But surprisingly, Borisolino seemed to believe this statement, and congratulated with a smile. Then you are really lucky, but how do you usually carry it? I've never seen you carry something like this at any other time. And, how did I forget this stubble? 
Clive didn't know how to explain it at once, but at this time Borisolino said. Well, everyone has secrets, but if you want to hide it, you'd better do some disguise. After speaking, Borisolino patted Clive's shoulder, and then staggered away. Clive looked at Borisolino's back, and couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. This old boy is really not simple. However, looking at Borisolino, it seems that he did not want to expose his appearance. Think about it, it's just a fishing rod, even if there is a secret, at most it is to conceal your own information, this matter can be big or small, and you can't offend people because of it. What's more, an old fritters like Borisolino are not guilty of either side, but it is his survival indicator. But he also woke himself up, maybe he should make some changes. Thinking of this, Clive transformed the holy rod into a battle mode, turning it into a bright silver blade, and pinned the knife with a blue wave pattern around his waist. Just don't let GSD's swordsmanship be dusted, starting today, let's put on a swordsman for now. Clive, who pinned an unsheathed sword to his waist, can also be regarded as having the appearance of a swordsman. Although he doesn't have the temperament of a swordsman, he can't stand Clive's appearance as handsome enough, and the knife is also handsome. After all, the world still looks at faces, and appearance is an important part of the first impression. Although Clive had only acquired some basic swordsmanship, it was enough for him. After all, the fight in this world will eventually see the smell and armament, as well as its own physique and strength, and at most add a fruit ability. And even if it is swordsmanship, there are actually no sword moves that are too mysterious to understand. All famous and surnamed swordsmen strike their swords in no more than three words, fast, accurate, and ruthless. Their sword moves are also derived from these three foundations. Of course, except for Solon's named fruit ability, who makes people handsome. And in terms of seeing and smelling color, he has the absolute upper hand, and his bubble demon eye can directly lock the role of seeing and smelling. As for the ability to arm color and fruit, he is not afraid at all with the help of the system. For them, what is more important is the artistic conception. Just like the ghostly spirit of Solon in the later period. All moves can evolve from the basic moves, and the one that suits you best is the best. Unfortunately, the system currently does not have the option to remove the devil fruit curse with points, and I don't know when fishing will catch it, or the mall will refresh products with similar functions. For him now, some basic picking, knife pulling and the like are enough. Clive walked back to the camp only to find it crowded. There are not only the staff who were originally here, but also the navy of the four seas that are not part of the headquarters. It seems that the people have arrived, but the ring seems to be quite a long time away from completion. What Zepha and a group of staff members really discussed should be discussing a different venue for the competition. If the competition just needs an open area, there is no need to build a ring. But, shouldn't there be a way to determine the outcome of the game? Playing in the ring is a good way to do it. But now that everyone is together, if you don't start the game, it will have an impact on the rest of the arrangement. Hey, throw everyone on the island, and finally the people who don't abstain will pass the pass. Good idea, how many people are there in total? The people of the Four Seas Navy plus the major bases of the Great Route, a total of 1,000 people, not counting the number brought by General Zeppa at this time. Don't call me a general. I'm already retired, I'm just the chief instructor of the Navy now, if only a thousand people, we currently do not have enough manpower to stop those trainees at a critical time. That, the phone worm gave me, I asked if the old goods of Kapuna were free, and by the way, I asked the Major General and Lieutenant General of the headquarters if they could find time to help. After Clive eavesdropped on the conversation, he was also a little helpless. What was expected is a ring battle turned into a battle royale. What's going on? Is it popular to play this now? However, this method does test a person's comprehensive combat skills. Soon, Zephyr's phone call was also finished. Carp is free, and it happens to be nearby, he can be there in half an hour, if he steps on the moon himself, it can be faster, but there is no need. The headquarters also had three lieutenant generals and a dozen major generals who offered to help. Zephyr has just retired from the position of general, these connections are still there, although people take tea cool, but they also have to walk for a longer time to be cool. Moreover, both the air and the warring states expressed their support, and it was not long, and there was even less reason for them not to go. 
After all, this is the birthplace of the future naval elite, maybe which one will be his boss in the future, it is also good to be familiar with each other and sell personal favors. It wasn't particularly far from Marin Fandor, and the headquarters would arrive tomorrow, and Carp would arrive soon, so Zephyr picked up the loudspeaker and called out to the people who were wandering around the island. This time, due to a little accident, there was a little change in the way we played. Then Zephyr began to explain the rules. This small island is not big, small is not small, just enough for more than 1,000 people to fight and there is just a good amount of space. Given the limited number of people in the elite camp, 1,018 participants, we will only select 50 to admit, and the competition will start after dark tomorrow, without limiting you to forming teams, that's it. After Zephyr finished speaking, he took the colonels and brigadier generals accompanying him to various places on the island to place monitoring telephone worms. Clive didn't want to team up, he thought it would be nice to hide in one place alone. If anyone finds him, the person who found him is unlucky. Now he is, in his own words, somewhat inflated, and not in general. After all, he has mastered domineering, with the spiral pill and the bubble demon eye, as well as the Susano fruit that can greatly increase his strength and speed. Not to mention Borisalino, Sakuski, and dragons, who are not yet fully developed. He is Zepha, Karp, and Clive is also confident of living a one trick or two move. He believes that when his character level increases, his strength may start snowballing. Strong equals able to go to the windless zone. No wind zone equals a lot of sea king class equals points plus experience equals strength. In order not to be pulled into the water by the sea king like yesterday, whether it is his own strength or the curse of the devil fruit, Clive must solve it. Otherwise, he fishes by himself, and sooner or later something will happen. But he doesn't want to team up but that doesn't mean others don't think so. Just as he was thinking about the direction of the future, Borisalino came over. Yo, do you want to form a team? Clive said with some surprise. I thought that with your personality, you should belong to the kind of person who hides until the end of the game, right? After all, there is no armed color here, and nature has an inherent advantage, especially if you run fast. Hey, what kind of person am I in your eyes? I also want to move my hands and feet. Clive raised his forehead and said, do you guy with a bad personality want to bully children again? But just because of this, you don't have to team up with me, right? Quote. Borisalino crooked his mouth and said, because you look weak. Clive also frowned when he heard this. Hey, I can't think I didn't hear this. Saying that, a spiral pill condensed in his hand. Borisalino quickly waved his hand. No, 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 I didn't mean that, you listen to me. You'd better come up with an answer that convinces me, Clive dispersed the spiral pill with a dark face. But we are still more or less a reasonable person, and beating people generally needs a suitable reason. Then Borisalino crouched down next to Clive and spoke. Although he squatted down, due to the height of the two, even if Borisalino squatted down, he was still as tall as Clive who was standing. Look. This competition, the participants are all colonels and even brigadier generals of various branches, basically over 20 years old, the oldest even 50 years old, look at you, only 15 years old, what do you think they will do when they see you? Beat me. That's right. You're trying to use me as bait. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as Borisalino finished smiling with a smile, a spiral pill pressed into his face. However, his timely elementalization dodged the blow, and the spiral pill only hit the ground under his feet, and a circular hole appeared. I said yes, but only once. When Borisalino heard this, his smile became even more lewd. The combination of the two is absolutely strange. After all, whether it is Borisalino, who is already famous and is called a monster, or although it is not obvious, the reputation is only circulating in the Zephanu barracks. But the strength of the two, if they join forces, this battle royale for them, is to open the invincible plus lock, by the way, there is an acceleration, and then take SKS's NM to kill. Clive seemed to have remembered something, and said to Borisalino, hey, how about we find a place to cat? If no one finds us, we'll just hide until the end of the game. Borisalino smiled and said, it seems that I thought of it together, just now I looked around the island, and there will be a good place by then. You just went to scout the terrain, Clive laughed tacitly. 
It is not for nothing that the two get along. It is a pity that Clive's fruit is not well developed, otherwise he may be able to keep up with the speed of Borisalino. After all, Susano is in mythology, but the person who has held the three artifacts of the eight sutras is not a fake made by the fruit of Borisalino. Clive has obtained complete information about his fruit according to the system. The sword chi-like attack that he had unintentionally released before was one of the abilities of this fruit. Its prototype is the Kusanagi sword, also known as the Tenkong Cloud Sword, and this Susano fruit conceptualizes the Kusanagi sword as a form of attack. Just like armed color domineering, he can extend this concept to any attack method. And he still has two tricks that he has not developed. One is an eight-foot mirror, which can reflect attacks that are no more than three times its own strength. The first is 8-foot Changu Jade, the effect is to achieve ultra-high-speed movement, as if it can fly. After awakening, it seems that there is something more mysterious. However, according to the origin of these three axes, the ability after awakening should also be based on myths and legends. With all this, Susano's ability seems to be gone, of course, one cannot forget the greatly increased physical fitness. After all, Clive, whose physical strength could only be regarded as an ordinary small sea soldier, soared to the level of an elite colonel in his headquarters after eating this fruit. That's enough to get a peek at the leopard. As the strength increases, the increase in Susano's fruit will definitely increase. After about an hour, Zephyr returned, and he said to the more than a thousand people crowded on the beach. Boys. Now come and draw lots, tomorrow enter the forest in the order of the draw for three days, and after four days now it is the end of the game. Then, whether they were in a team or not, they all stepped forward to draw lots under the command. Clive and Borisalino were in a group, so the two came forward together to draw lots. Zephyr also sighed when he saw the two teaming up, how to say, for the team of the two, he had expected. It. Reasonable, but unexpected. He didn't expect these two to really be so shameless. For Zepha, whose strength is very clear, he naturally understands what the result of these two joining forces is. It can be said that as long as Dorag and Sakaski do not team up, this game is an amusement park for the two. No one could stop these two men, not even the lieutenant generals who came to help. Perhaps only himself and Karp can suppress them. But speaking of which, where did the Kapu guy go? The time for this old product should have arrived. Yo, the first one, looks like good luck, Borisalino smiled crookedly as he held the draw slip. Clive on the side took the note, and then said, please put away your smile, how much we are also in a team, you will affect my image. Zephyr also said after signaling the two to go down with his eyes, next group. When the two went down, those who were close to Clive and the two couldn't help but whisper. Who is this little guy, so arrogant, dare to speak to that monster like this? Hey, it must be a high-level relative, how much strength can you have at such a young age, it is estimated that you can form a team in order to pass the selection and buy Borisalino. Yes, there is Borisalino here, unless Sakaski and Dorag make a move, it will be stable into the elite camp. The hateful second generation of officials. Voices like this came and went, and compared to the young Clive, they still believed in the natural monsters that had long been famous. And these voices naturally could not hide from Clive and Borisalino, and they heard it very well. Borisalino looked at Clive, who was not angry, but smiled at the corner of his mouth and asked, You are not angry. Quote. Clams, why should you be angry, didn't their performance just fulfill your wish? Dorag and Sakaski, who also heard the conversation of this group on the side, as well as a group of trainees from the headquarters training camp, let out disdainful laughter. They are mocking those who look down on Clive and are ready to watch the play. Just as all the draws were over, Zephyr issued a new directive. Temporarily add a rule, if the teammate is eliminated, it will be considered as the whole team elimination. E-H-E-H-E-H. -E this order instantly drove a large number of weak people who reported to warm up into the abyss. That means they have to learn to work together and can't give up on any of their teammates. Otherwise, in this world where the strong destroy the world with one enemy and 10,000, they have no chance of qualifying. Many teams were disbanded directly, and the members of the team drew another round of lots in their personal names. Those who did not form a team laughed as they watched the group of people who disbanded and formed a team. 
After all, the people who did not form a team are all people who have a certain confidence in their strength, but it is clear that this group of people who ran out of the temporarily disbanded team is not counted, and now in this way, the difficulty of elimination has greatly decreased. Clive and Borisolino also felt that countless eyes were focused on them for a moment. Also, as long as Clive is eliminated, it is equivalent to directly killing a strong enemy, and there are two more positions. Borisolino crooked his mouth and whispered to Clive, It seems that you have become a hot food, and Mr. Zeppa is really troublesome. Don't pull it, when the time comes, will you make a move or will I solve it myself? Well, can you not make a move or not? After all, if you do, won't the intelligence be leaked? Quote. I'll believe you first, but I'll only be the bait for one day, and I'll do it myself in the next two days, after all, I still have something I want to try. Oh much, it's really rare that you would be so positive. Although lazy, I still want to test my limits, and, said Clive as he looked at the holy rod that had turned into a sword at his waist. And I want to try my swordsmanship too. Borisolino was surprised. You're going to start practicing swords. Quote. Clive nodded. Borisolino said, why? Aren't your physical skills and that weird spiral pill quite strong? Quote. Clive looked up at the sky 45 degrees, with a bit of yearning in his eyes. Because it's handsome. Borisolino raised his forehead with some headache. It's you, well, let's go and rest first, I also have to go and recuperate. The next day, as the first team to enter, the two quickly rushed in. After all, there is only a five-minute gap between the two teams. Both of them were not slow, so they quickly went deep into the jungle, and under Borisolino's leadership, they soon found a cave hidden in the rock wall. The cave is surrounded by dense moss and vines. It can be said that if there is no seeing or special devil fruit, the probability of the two being exposed is infinitely close to zero. Soon, the two sat down in the middle of the cave. Clive used his sword to cut a boulder into a huge, flat stone bed, and the rest of the scraps were made into two stone benches and a coffee table. Borisolino tacitly activated the fruit power, and his whole body began to glow, turning into a light source. Clive, on the other hand, took a deck of playing cards from his pocket and placed it on the coffee table. This is how the two began their entertainment time. Borisolino typed a three and asked, how long do you think they found out about us? Quote. Clive thought for a while and said, although this is a cave in the rock wall, if it is not difficult to come up, excluding the situation that their blind cat encounters a dead rat, if they have not seen it, we estimate that it will not be a problem to stay for three days. Borisolino said suddenly, no, that's a problem. Why? Clive was strange. Didn't eat. There was silence between the two. It seems to be like this, and according to the amount of food of the two, even if Clive takes out all the fish stored in the system space, it will be a day's amount. What's more, he didn't dare to expose the existence of the system space just like that. Clive took a deep breath and said, I'm going fishing. And our plan. So think more about the actual situation when you plan in the future. Clive angrily slammed the card, then held his head and complained, Ah what a hassle, or we will act separately, I will find my food, and you will find yours. Borisolino spread his hands, how ruthless, Clive, are you so willing to see your friend starving? Quote. Yes. Just as the two were arguing, a sound came from under the rock wall. As the signal source here. That's right, my fruit ability does detect two life reactions here. Hey, aren't you me, where are you from? It's not even a beast. I'm a radar fruit powerhouse, I can't be wrong, there must be someone here. Clive heard the noise below, and also said helplessly, I didn't expect that there were still such troublesome abilities, do you want to solve it? Rock, paper, scissors. Whoever loses goes. In short, the result was that Clive stood at the mouth of the cave and threw a few spiral pills down, knocking the two unlucky eggs below unconscious. Soon, Two navies dressed as rear admirals came to recover the, bodies, of the two. Clive stood at the mouth of the cave, looking at the major general who was quickly leaving, and sighed, it's really efficient. And on the other side, in the monitoring room on the warship. Zepha was looking at the picture coming from the surveillance phone worm, and naturally saw Clive's beaten face. Oh, little ghost, let me see where your limits are. After muttering a word, Zepha picked up the phone worm and said, 
spread out the location of the two, yes, just send out leaflets. It didn't take long for the flyer to be printed. The three lieutenant generals stepped on the moon step and launched a leaflet in midair with the expression of watching a play on their faces. It didn't take long for almost everyone to know the location of Borisolino and Clive. Of course, Clive is no exception. A leaflet was just pasted on his face while he was looking at the scenery at the entrance of the cave. Clive squeezed the leaflet tightly, then turned to Borisolino and said. Let's go, Zephyr sensei seems to be unable to get by with us. Borisolino asked as he approached slowly. What's wrong? Clive threw the flyer to Borisolino. Ala, that's really troublesome, so are you going to change places? Clive shook his head. It's too troublesome to change places, just here, find a better position to hide, listen to me. Clive whispered something in Borisolino's ear, and then Borisolino smiled lewdly. He patted Clive's shoulder and gave a thumbs. Up. Genius decision. The first team had arrived to try to eliminate the two-person team. It's not so much that they're here to eliminate Borisolino as they're here to eliminate Clive. Is that it? Well, follow the position on the flyer, just above the rock wall. Won't they move places? The leader looked at the rock wall above and said, Try your luck, I'll try to drag Borisolino later, and you will solve Clive. Okay, let's go up. After the two discussed the countermeasures, they jumped to the mouth of the cave. The cave was dark, and the two glanced over, but found no trace of Borisolino and Clive, only scattered playing cards and some stone tables and stone benches. Gone. One person picked up the poker on the ground and said with some disappointment. But soon, two figures emerged from the darkness, as if answering his own words. Nope. Without waiting for them to react, laser beams and spiral pellets rained down on them. Although the power was not great, this saturated blow-like firepower still knocked the two of them unconscious. A few minutes after the two flew out of the cave and fell to the ground, a lieutenant general galloped in and ran away with the two on their shoulders. Borisolino looked at the distant figure of the lieutenant general and said, This method is good, wait for the rabbit. As much as we come, we can fight as much as we want, as long as we don't collapse this cave. Ah, it's good to be able to attack from a distance. The way to be far away on the monitoring ship saw the movement at the entrance of the cave, and also guessed the response method of the two. The corners of his mouth lifted, and the cigar he was holding in his mouth changed its angle. These two brats, instead, they found a place that is easy to defend and difficult to attack. The practice is very clear, under the suppression of the fire of the two, those players whose strength is not stronger than the two are also given for nothing. And Clive and Borisolino don't need too much effort to knock the people who come up and throw them down. It can be said that even if it is Sakaski and Dorag, if the two do not join forces to go up on their own, most of them will not be able to rush up. After all, Clive will arm this matter, others do not know, he is still very clear as an instructor. This is the advantage of information asymmetry. If Sakaski and Dorag rushed forward with the advantage of the natural fruit, they might give it faster for nothing. Thinking of this, Zephyr couldn't help but spit out a smoke ring and sighed. These two guys, in this way, even if the selection is over, no one will be able to help them, unless the rock wall collapses. As if thinking of something, Zephyr showed a hint of a bad smile, and he picked up a phone bug at hand. Hey, Carp, go and knock down the rock wall where Clive and Borisolino are, I can't let two geniuses shrink in the hole. Huh, I don't do this kind of bullying of weak juniors. Five bags of senbei from the West Sea. Hey, but look at our relationship, I will still help with this little favor, wait. Quote. The phone worm had just been hung up, and only a roar was heard, and the rock wall where the two were located collapsed with a bang. Carp stood at the bow of the ship, holding a cannonball in one hand, and was about to throw it again, but seeing that the rock wall was collapsed by his own blow, he also put the shell back in the ammunition box. Hey Zepha, things are done. See, Senbei is in the drawer of the warring states, you can go back and take it yourself. Oh, got it. Hanging up the phone worm, Zephyr couldn't help but chuckle and said, it's really a lie, Carp. And at this time, the warring states, which was far away in Marin Fandor, could not help but sneeze and blow up the documents in front of him. With some headache, he bent down to pick up the papers, then rubbed his nose. Strange, is it a cold? I haven't had a cold lately, 
Sengoku shook his head, picked up the paperwork and sat back at his desk. No way, busy. At the same time, the ruins of the rock face. A burst of laser beams mixed with sword chi cleaned up the ruins. With the joint efforts of the two, getting out of the collapsed rock wall is not a big problem. Phew, what an unexpected shot. Zefa sensei, this is ironclad and wants us to do it, Borisalino said helplessly. Clive spat out the soil that had been eaten into his mouth, and then analyzed. It is estimated that as long as the two of us are together, Mr. Zeffa will come up with various ideas to greet us, he does not want to see an overly strong team, nor does he want to see two powerful people who are fishing here. Borisalino, so it's ready to separate. Quote. Ah, if you act separately, even Zeffa sensei will have to work hard to deal with it. Yes, but nominally we still team up, don't be eliminated, little brother. Clive's armed color directly condensed, and kicked Borisalino far away. Don't look down on people, uncle. Borisalino slowly stood up, wiped the shoe prints on his face and said, Well, it's really amazing, I didn't expect you to master the armed color domineering. Clive also laughed. I will have more things, you better take care of yourself, don't be eliminated, otherwise I will laugh at you. The two looked at each other and smiled, and walked in opposite directions. Clive went to the beach, he wanted to fish, while Borisalino continued deep into the jungle, not knowing where to hide. Zephyr saw the two separated, and also smiled. Not bad, I actually thought of separating, but it's still too naive, let me see the limits of the four of you. Carp, did Dorag and Sakuski solve it? It's been solved a long time ago, the two brats are still too tender, too confident in their fruit ability, who is next? Clive. Borisalino kid let it go first, you may not catch up with him. It seems that you pay more attention to Clive. I can't see through him, I've never seen anyone who can go from an ordinary naval soldier to a rear admiral who has mastered the six styles and even mastered the strength of a domineering navy in just two weeks. Oh, so, this kid is really not ordinary, isn't he capable? It is not written in the intelligence, but he has shown similar abilities. Don't worry, no matter what he is hiding, I will help you try it out. At this time, Clive, who had just arrived at the beach to start fishing, obviously did not think of the plan behind Zephyr. He was sitting gracefully on the ground, slowly taking out the bait, and the knife at his waist had already turned into a fishing rod and put it aside. Fishing can't be delayed, after all, the opportunity may be next time. Clive, who already has considerable strength, can be said to have passed the novice period, and now is the time for crazy development and wild growth. Even if he did not enter the elite camp for further training, and even if he was expelled from the navy, he could quickly grow into a strong man in a short period of time. A strong man standing at the top of the sea. But obviously, life always comes so quickly. Clive, who was hanging the bait, suddenly heard a faint roar. This sound is the sound of moon steps. He looked towards the source of the sound and saw Carp smiling and rushing towards him with a cannonball in his hand. Clive, who vaguely felt the coolness, quickly switched the holy rod to the knife form, and then waited for it. Sure enough, Carp's hand projectile arrived. He didn't even shout the name of the move. It's not scientific. Clive held his breath and slashed out his sword chi with a slash, slashing the cannonball head on, splitting one in two. The sword chi continued to move forward and rushed towards Carp. Carp grinned. Boy, this level of attack can't hit me. Quote. He didn't even open the sight, and with only the vision and reaction of the naked eye, he easily dodged this sword chi. Of course, Clive knew that this attack would not hit Carp, and even if it did, it would be useless. So, he felt the need to test his magic eye. Just after the sword chi passed by Carp, Clive glared sharply, and invisibly, a foam shattered. Then with a, poof, a slash mark appeared on Carp's chest. Although it only cut his clothes, it did not have any effect on his tempered body, but only left an inconspicuous white mark, but this did not affect his surprise at this attack. How is it possible? The old man's sight and smell did not have the slightest reaction. Quote. After a brief moment of surprise, he rushed in front of Clive. He pointed to the scratches on his chest and asked, Hey, boy, how did you do this? Quote. Clive smiled, held his sword in front of him and said, It's a secret, Capuzin. Carp also stopped caring and said, 
I won't say anything else, you should know what I'm here for, right? Quote. Of course. Clive squeezed a spiral pill in his left hand, and with his right hand a sword, he rushed towards Carp. Good guts, but you may be too confident. Quote. Carp punched Clive's sword and knocked Clive flying. Clive flew in the air and threw another spiral pill in front of him, detonating the spiral pill as a back thrust, and completely pushed himself away from Carp. Capuzin, this is my escape route. Carp also smiled when he looked at Clive who was flying far away. With this level of speed, don't try to escape from me. Saying that, Carp stepped on the moon step and quickly approached Clive. Hey, isn't it? Clive looked at Carp, who was about to reach him, and his heart was also drumming. Although Carp converged his strength and did not attack himself with physical skills such as flying finger guns and arashi feet, he crushed Clive with only the most basic physical fitness. Mr. Carp, it's better if you let me go, you know I can't beat you. That's not okay, I've been asked to test your limits. Clive had already faintly guessed in his heart who that person was, and there should be no one else besides Zepha. So you have to fight. Carp was not speaking, but instantly appeared in front of Clive and punched out. Clive raised his knife to block, and the whole person was beaten and flew out again for a full tens of meters, landing embarrassedly, leaving two deep scratches on the ground. Clive felt as if his arms were about to be completely shattered, and if he hadn't turned on the fruit ability at the critical time, he estimated that he would have fallen down by now. The fruit's self-healing ability slowly began to recover from his injuries. Of course, due to the peculiarities of Susano's fruit, Clive's physical appearance has not changed significantly. Oh, boy is good, Dorag that kid was knocked over by my punch. Clive couldn't help but have black lines all over his head when he heard this, it's really merciless, Capuzin. Then, Clive quickly pressed a spiral pill on the waist of Carp who was close in front of him, forcing him back briefly. Capuzin, this is my limit, can I stop, I still want to eat. Oh, this is not okay, you still have the strength to use it. Clive did not give his full strength, but once he gave his full strength, it was bound to expose the truth of the original warship incident. Although Zepha has repeatedly said that he will help himself resist, but, well, the Navy is not up to the Navy itself. At least as far as Clive knew, there was more than one government official in the Navy who was specifically responsible for military spending. Clive estimated that it was all the government's eyeliner. Although a warship is not a big deal, he does not want to be watched by the government because of it. Whether this site is good or bad, it will bring some unnecessary influence to him. Capuzin, don't believe me. I've shown it all. Looking at the eager carp in front of him, Clive couldn't help but have a little headache. Looking at the situation on the other side, it seems that if you don't beat yourself up today, it won't be over. Forget it, think you're unlucky. Thinking so, Clivshi displayed an unskilled armed color. The armed color domineering extended to the tie sword, and the original bright silver blade body became pitch black in an instant. That's right, boy. Carp laughed and instantly disappeared in place. When he appeared again, he was already in front of Clive. Carp's fist rained down on Clive in an instant. And Clive could only raise the knife and hurriedly parry, completely unable to find a chance to counterattack. No, even if he counterattacked, it would not work. Clive could see that Carp was far from using his full strength at this time. Carp, who was in the prime of his life, was still the naval hero who ran around with Roger or that undoubted naval hero. If Clive could turn his fire-ridden cap over or tie, even if it was a little weaker, it would be really outrageous. After another hand-to-hand -hand battle, Clive seemed to sense that something in his body had awakened. He subconsciously used it, and a black mirror with a strange shape and irregular coronal edges appeared in front of him. Carp's fist hit directly on the mirror, and something strange happened, and the menacing Carp was directly knocked upside down by an unknown force and flew out. Carp flipped in the air with a surprised face, and then whispered, Did you bounce the attack? Quote. And Clive also looked at the mirror in front of him, and also had an idea in his heart, eight-foot mirror. So Carp's current output is not more than three times my endurance, it's not a little bit of water. But in this way, the fact of the capable person cannot be concealed. Looking at Carp with a curious look in front of him, Clive knew that he couldn't hide it. Clive also simply broke the jar and broke, directly and completely liberating the fruit ability, 
which was the first time he used it with all his strength after getting the ability. Soon, his shirt was burned out in a burst of golden light, and the gojade on his chest also tended to be obvious. His height also began to grow, gradually becoming a head taller than Karp, who was one meter taller than him, and his physique became stronger. Two curved horns began to grow on his head, his hair began to turn snow white, and the tie sword in his hand was already covered with a layer of pale gold sword light. The eight-foot mirror that was originally floating in front of him also became gigantic and floated behind him. Karp couldn't help but admire Clive, who looked at the momentum rising and his appearance changed dramatically. I didn't expect you to be a fruit ability, this ability, is it a phantom beast species? Quote. Clive smiled, and the knife in his hand was carried on his shoulder, it is worthy of being a naval hero, really well informed. Although Clive wasn't sure what he was like now because he didn't have a mirror, he could still understand the two things he was taller and the horns on his head. Sure enough, the body must have some changes to be regarded as the devil fruit of the animal line. Then, use your full strength. Karp disappeared in an instant, and almost at the same time, his fist came to Clive's face. The light of the eight-foot mirror shone, and Karp was once again hit back by his own attack. Clive knows that even though he is exposed to his new form, Karp is confident of beating him and does not even increase his contribution. This also allows the reflection of the eight-foot mirror to still be effective. Clive took advantage of Karp's rolling in the air, and also swung out a slash, and the golden sword chi that had lit up in the port of Marin Fandor not long ago rushed towards Karp with an even more terrifying momentum. Karp adjusted his position with moon steps in the air, and his fists condensed with armed color domineering, and with only one punch, he fought a tie with the sword chi that Clive cut out with all his strength. The two sides are at a stalemate. However, Clive knew very well that he would never be able to defeat him, even if he repelled Karp, and even if he used this form, it was impossible to soar his combat power to the level of lieutenant general. Looking at the level displayed by himself on the system panel, I don't know when he has come to level 25, he is also a little strange. Could it be the experience that less than half a day of fighting gave him? Anyway, this is too far-fetched. With such a high bonus, what else do I catch? Finding someone to fight every day is not enough, and the name of this book can also be changed. Taking advantage of Karp's patience to play with his sword chi for a while, he glanced at the source of experience. It reads, Fruit ability is officially stimulated, ability feeds back, increases experience by 180,000. Sure enough, a lot. Clive thought so, but he calculated that according to the current 30,000 experience level, he would not be able to reach level 25. In this way, the experience increased in battles, although not so exaggerated, is somewhat a very considerable gain. Character level, although it only symbolizes the strength of the body and does not mean actual combat effectiveness, is definitely an important indicator for reference. Before he could continue to think about it, a casserole-sized fist landed on his face, knocking him into the sea. By the time he woke up from his coma, he was already lying in the hospital of Marin Fandor. Lying on the bed next to him were Borisalino, Sakaski, and Dorag, who should have woken up a long time ago. They were all holding a newspaper in their hands, and when they saw Clive wake up, they also showed an expression of pity for the same illness. Borisalino, who is familiar with Clive, said, Capson is really indiscriminate, he actually hurt you so badly, we only slept for three or four days, but you were in a coma for nearly half a month. Half a month. Clive was a little surprised, and just wanted to get up, but he felt a sharp pain all over his body. Lie down. Even if we haven't fully healed our injuries, Borisalino continued, then threw a newspaper into Clive's face. If you want to have fun, only newspapers. Clive slowly removed the newspaper from his face and saw at a glance a picture of Roger, who occupied half of the front page. The Roger Pirates and the Golden Lion Pirates had a skirmish today, the two sides exchanged fierce fire, and were dispersed by the arriving naval forces, and the leaders of this operation are, General Senshi, Carp. Hasn't Sengoku become a marshal yet? Then again, Roger is starting to do things now. Putting down the newspaper, Clive at this time just wanted to see some in the mall that he had missed for half a month. When you open the mall, you will be greeted by three experience cards. 
Experience cards are getting cheaper and cheaper, and before the coma it was still 1 to 1 experience, now it has fallen to 1 to 10. With 10,000 disposable experience, only 1,000 points are now required. Looking at his 36,000 deposit, Clive bought the three experience cards without hesitation. Alas, I thought that after saving up for half a month, Ochi could produce something good. Clive opened the panel to see what the tryouts had gained. Post. Clive, LV 25, 25.6 with 30W, Ordinary Vice Admiral of the Navy Headquarters. Skills. Rokushi Shave LV3, 2023, 3000, Rokushi Fingergun LV2, 1102, 2000, Armed Color Domineering LV2, 2003, 3000. Susano Fruit LV5, 5000, 10000, Spiral Pill LV4, 4395, 1000, Rokushi Iron Block LV1, 991, 1000. Rokushi Paper LV2, 1239, 2000, Rokushi Arashi LV2, 1423, 2000, Rokushi Sukibu LV2, 1522, 2000. Bubble Demon I LV1, 10,000, 20 thousandths. Props. 8 Fairy Beans. Weapon. Holy Rod LV4, 4,000, 5 thousandths. Oh, the harvest is good, it seems that the results of the actual battle are also good, I don't know if there are any requirements for the strength of the opponent. Clive added 10,000 experience to the Devil Fruit, raising him to LV6. Suddenly, a thick force appeared in his body, and he suddenly felt that his strength had grown again. Sure enough, while his fruit was upgraded, the character level, which symbolized his own physical strength, also increased some experience. Say some, but not less, a full increase of 5,000 values. Soon, Clive felt a stream of heat surging in his body, and the external and internal injuries he suffered began to slowly recover. It was slow, but it was slower than Wolverine, and Clive estimated that at this rate, he would be able to leave the hospital at night. After discovering this situation, he stopped thinking about it and fell asleep. Sakaski looked at Clive, who fell asleep all of a sudden, and couldn't help but envy. It's so good that we can still fall asleep, we can't sleep in pain. Yes, it's better than not being able to sleep in pain, or fainting for half a month like him. Dorag was also on the sidelines, and his father beat his son, but he didn't leave any hands. And Borisolino is the best one in the, painful can't sleep trio, after all, he ran fast and didn't suffer much damage, but after exhausting his physical strength, he was hammered by carp. However, after being punched, Borisolino began to play dead, can he still whip the corpse? Apparently the other two did not have this treatment. Sakaski is purely a head iron, and he and Karp face to face with each other, and the injury is the most serious. Dorag didn't bother to resist, but Karp didn't spare a hand. Clive well, the animal department resisted the beating, although it fainted, but the self-healing ability is strong. The three side in unison, then picked up the newspaper again and read it. Although they have read this newspaper more than once today, but, you can't sit still in a daze, can you? At night, when Clive woke up, he was able to get up and move freely. He got out of bed, put on his own clothes, and prepared to go out the door. As soon as I took a step, I found that the three of them were leaning on the head of the bed and sleeping with their heads bowed. I'll go. What is the situation? Clive couldn't help but be startled when he saw the three of them sleeping like this. After a brief moment of dismay, Clive chose to jump from the window of the ward, because outside the window was a shore perfect for fishing. After landing lightly, Clive walked leisurely to the beach. Although there is still a bandage wrapped around his body, in fact, the injuries inside have healed, and Clive can tear them off if he wants to. However, although hospitalization is a little boring, it is better than idleness. After stepping into the rank of lieutenant general, Clive knew very well that the improvement brought by fishing was definitely faster than immersing himself in training. Of course, occasionally you still need to fight pirates and complete the business indicators, after all, the benefits brought by the battle have been clearly reflected. And without combat experience, it is difficult to gain a foothold on this sea. Dropping the hook, Clive started fishing again. Apparently he didn't have good luck tonight. He caught dozens of fish, and except for 8,000 points, there was nothing left. And this time the store simply did not even play the experience card, as if receiving the return material of the Navy, began to resell guns and clothing. 
it's really not going well. He has always been lazy and unambitious, but at this time, because of his itchy hands, he suddenly began to look forward to going to sea to fight with pirates. After all, Yi has not found a suitable release venue so far. Let's try out. You can't kill your colleagues, hit carp, you can't move, there is no sense of accomplishment. As far as his current strength is concerned, if it is placed in the first half of the great voyage, it is an unsolvable existence. Now he, as long as he does not run into the legendary pirates who will be famous in the future, Roger and Whitebeard, he can definitely easily retreat. However, in this era, the navy is far from being the hegemon of the sea, and its control over the sea is not as strong as after the opening of the era of sea thieves. The current navy is not yet able to extend its power to the new world, which is where the real immortals fight. Perhaps only Carp, Warring States, and the current Marshal Kong who are qualified to participate in the competition in that sea area have this ability. What caused the reshuffle of maritime power was the Battle of Aber two years later, and later Roger's surrender. The two major forces of the pirate side, Golden Lion and Roger, died out, directly giving the navy a chance. And five years is enough to raise Clive's strength to an unprecedented level. Before the era of pirates, he was enough to stand at the top of the pirate world. Saw, so, what will be done then? Overthrow the world government. It seems to be good, it should be used to eliminate harm for the people, but, who will pay my salary at that time? Quote. As the sun rose, Clive also put away his fishing rod and returned to the ward. Not long after returning to his room and getting back into bed, Zepha walked in. Clive, come with me, you've recovered, haven't you? Clive pretended to be seriously ill and said, what do you say, Zepha sensei, I just woke up. Don't pretend, I saw it all last night when you were fishing. Clive was helpless, he didn't expect to be found after he finished sneaking out to catch a fish. The other three did not wake up at this time, they were all immersed in sleep, Zepha did not care, dragged Clive out of bed and walked outside. On the way, Clive asked. Zepha sensei, where are we going? New world. Clive almost flipped over in fright when he heard the location. Hey, Zepha sensei, don't you think it's too early for me to go to the new world? Take it easy, just let you intern on Carp's ship, and when those three brats are injured, they will also come to Carp's ship to accompany you. That's not what I care about. Clive was dragged to Carp's ship. But then something happened that surprised him. Before getting on board, he saw a man in front of the ship, Buddha no Sengoku. Beside him, his adjutant held a naval coat with a rank on it. According to Clive's knowledge in the navy, this is the rank of captain. Sengoku saw that Clive was dragged over by Zepha, and he also said loudly. Private Clive, out of line. Zepha let go of Clive, and Clive quickly walked in front of Sengoku, and then came to stand upright. Warring states looked at his flustered movements, and couldn't help laughing. This can't be done, today is your promotion ceremony. He beckoned, and the adjutant behind him stepped forward, draped the coat over Clive's shoulders, and then placed the rank of colonel on his shoulders. Starting today, you will be a colonel in the headquarters of the navy, which is the highest rank you can give without military merit, and after that, it depends on your efforts, remember that you have not yet graduated from the elite battalion of the navy. Sengoku's words made Clive a little confused. Was he promoted like that? The colonel's salary is not comparable to that of a big-headed soldier. After all, if it were placed in the four seas, he, the colonel of the headquarters, could completely sit in a base, or even the existence of a large sea area. Clive was naturally not a fool. He asked, E.H., can I ask why? Quote. After hearing this, Sengoku said with a smile, with the strength of you and Sakuski, Borisalino, Dorag and others, I will not be questioned by too many people to promote the generals among you, but well, the system of the navy is so. Then, he said the main reason. Of course, as the face of the headquarters, you can't just have the title of a third-class soldier to go to the new world, and you will be ridiculed by those pirates. In case they say that it is not good for the navy to look down on talent. Clive also understood the meaning of the warring states, and co-authorship is that the loser cannot but lose. After all, Clive's strength, put in any pirate group can be a cadre, what if this future star of the navy is abducted by rhetoric, referring to Roger. Especially after Clive got on the ship, the main target was Roger. 
In Roger's ability to dig into walls and feet is famous, and the warring states cannot help but guard against this. Of course, this does not change Clive's attitude that the Navy is just clocking into work, after all, in his heart, the Navy has never been a symbol of justice. He also does not think of himself as a person with a strong sense of justice, he is just an ordinary and kind person. He will not give silently like Carp, and even if his family dies in front of him, it will not violate his principles as a Navy. If he crossed over to Carp, he would definitely defect on the spot in the war. This is the difference between him and the vast majority of those who joined the Navy with so-called justice in mind. But these words, it is better to hold them in his heart. After all, now he is quite happy in the Navy, and he is happy to receive a dead salary. Thank you Sengoku General, Clive bowed, and then said to Zepha, Nazepha Sensei, see you in a few days. Zepha also patted him on the shoulder and said, Boy, don't embarrass the Navy, join Carp and capture Roger. Clive, who knows Roger's strength well, can only cater on the surface and complain directly behind his back. If I could get Roger back, I'd dip my knife in soy sauce. Clive walked up to Carp's dog-headed warship and leaned on the railing to look back at Marin Fandor. Although he has only been here for a month, the memories given to him here are much more than the boring life of that small naval base in the East China Sea. This is his second home. Even if he might leave the Navy later, he sneaked back here to take a look. Of course, provided he wasn't rewarded. Carp walked up behind him and said, Boy, don't look, every other month, we will return to Marin Fandor to do a refurbishment, alas, if only there was a naval base in the New World. Clive turned around and said, Soon, Capson. Can I see it as a young man's rhetoric? Carp also laughed and patted him on the shoulder. Let's go, I'll invite you to eat senbei. Ha 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 ha. Carp walked away happily. Clive looked at Carp's figure and sighed. What an old urchin, how old is he now? Fifty or sixty-two, right. Quote. Clive looked at the sea in the distance and felt that life in the coming month was a little unpredictable. The title can't be beaten, here is a flower. Before the ship had sailed far, Carp said to Clive. Hey, you still don't know how to smell domineering, do you? Ah, that's right. Carp gave a weird smile, then put his arm around Clive's shoulder and said. Let me teach you, others ask me for this opportunity. Although it sounded like the care of the seniors for the potential juniors, Clive still heard a trace of malice in Carp's tone. Thinking back to the bitter water that Dorag poured at his classmates when he was drunk, and the kind of, training, he had with Luffy in the original book, Clive couldn't help but sweat. If Zephyr's education is both theoretical and practical, then Carp is definitely a representative of the stocking school. Throw you into the wild and fend for yourself. But fortunately, Luffy got a good physique, even if he was stunned by Lao Sha's mess, he survived firmly. Of course, Clive doesn't want to taste this experience. After all, he is not Luffy, his strength is much stronger than him, and he does not think that his training program will be the same as Luffy. What if you throw him in the windless zone now? Clive didn't feel like he was hoisted like Renly and swam through the windless zone. What's more, he is a capable person. Even if there is a system, it is still not the ability to remove the side effects for the time being. Carp saw Clive's somewhat resistant expression and whispered, How? Did Dorag speak ill of me? Don't believe that kid, this is a training full of my love. I'm sorry, this love is a little heavy. Without waiting for Clive to finish speaking, Carp grabbed Clive's back neck and dragged him from the deck to the ship's training room. In the next half month, Clive helped Carp pack up some rookies who had just entered the new world, and was trained beaten by Cap. However, although Carp has been beating him violently, he has not done anything out of the ordinary, just training like Renly helping Luffy awaken and see the smell. It should be said that only the own son and grandson can start unscrupulously. However, thanks to the daily fight and training with Carp, Clive's two-color domineering, fruit ability and character experience have skyrocketed. In just half a month, his character level reached level 30, reaching the level of the early stage of elite lieutenant general. And the armed color domineering has also come to level 6, and the newly learned color domineering has also reached level 4, and the 6 styles have also increased to the level of level 2. The fruit ability has reached level 7. His observation of these skills in the past half month also gave him a message. 
domineering, six style, or all other skills, the upper limit is level 10. And the more it goes on, the higher the experience it requires, growing hundredfold or even thousandfold, ten thousand times. This is not the case with character levels, which are capped at LV99. Although the experience required between each level is not much different from the skills, the victory lies in the number of levels, and I don't know how much experience it takes to reach the full level. The Demon Fruits Awakening is at level 8, but the experience required to advance from level 7 to level 8 is almost equivalent to all the experience of levels 1 to 7 multiplied by a 2. So although it was only one level away, it felt as far away as Clive was. Today is the 23rd day that Clive leaves Marin Vando and enters the 13th day of the New World. Today, he also ushered in three difficult brothers and brothers. Although there is occasional friction between the four, thanks to Borisolino's smooth worldliness and Clive's own optimistic attributes, the relationship between the four has also made the relationship between the four a lot harmonious. Even Clive, who was originally a little prejudiced against Sakuski, can now drink two glasses of wine and chat with him. Although Sakuski at this time was gloomy and serious, he was far from being as extreme as O'Hara's demon slaughter, and even less like the Red Dog General later. Now he, in Clive's opinion, is a somewhat introverted cold man. Overall, it is cold on the outside and hot on the inside. What exactly changed this man? Clive's heart couldn't help but raise this doubt. It's still a long time, at least enough to witness the process. Time changes everything, and it brings unexpected changes. Just like Clive, he is no longer the new crosser, he wants to plan and dominate the world. Getting along with his biological parents in this world made him feel as peaceful as in his previous life. At that time, he just wanted to gain the power of self-preservation, protect his family and himself, and survive in this treacherous pirate world. And now, after witnessing the battle for supremacy in the new world for half a month, the lives of civilians have been uprooted and wiped out like grass mustard, which can't help but remind him of his parents in the East China Sea. Comparing the heart to the heart, Clive himself is uncomfortable. If you are poor, you will be good for yourself, and if you are good, you will benefit the world. No matter how strong the individual's strength is, it cannot stop the malice of others. Only the formation of a strong enough organization will be enough to shelter everything. The Navy is not good, it is just a violent institution of the world government, he can maintain stability, but it is far from justice. Perhaps. Clive set his sights on Dorag, who had just boarded the ship and was still young and sunny. Overthrow the world government, is that the answer he wants? Yes or no? But, all crossed, overthrowing the world government, which was originally done by the protagonist, it is better to serve him himself. Karp saw that Clive suddenly showed an expression of wanting to do something big, and also asked, Hey, you kid looks very energetic. Yes, Kapuzang, after all, it is a major event related to the future of the world, and I can't help but say it with insufficient energy. Okay, don't think about it, divide these three people into the other three warships. Clive nodded helplessly, in the past half a month, he was more like an adjutant than Karp's adjutant which made him very suspicious that Carp was using himself as a coolie. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.